Good afternoon and welcome back to the Spooligan and VMO YouTube channel. Uh, today you join us on Nell's Point in Barry. I uh, wasn't quite sure whether this session was going to go ahead. Uh, last night checked the weather apps, blowing 55. Oh, crikey, but what a difference 24 hours made. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, just waiting for John and Carl to turn up. So I'm going to get myself ready and set up. Tides flooding. So let's see how we get on. Cheers. So, I finally arrived on the mark, slightly later than Craig. Um, Craig's been here for about an hour, done some footage with the drone, done the intro for us, and now I can see he's got his first rod out. I'm just going to get my rod set up. I'm going to get one rod out for now, as I always do when I get to the mark nice and early. Sandhill squid bait, see if I can pick up an early ray. Give the tide an hour or so to come in. And then I'll put my second rod out. Hoping today to have maybe a blonde ray, small eyed, or even a thorn back. They are around this area. Uh, we checked on the social media platforms last night. And we could see that across the way there is Friars Point, And there was a few blonde rays and a few, a few um, small eyes come from there. So fingers crossed we can, uh, we can get some fish for you. Listen, anyway, I'm going to get my rod sorted. And uh, we'll catch up soon, hopefully, with one or two fish on the beach for you. Okay. Time to change first casts. Um, left rod just changed, though, to uh, cart wing and squid. That's gone out. See where that goes. Fingers crossed. Um, right hand rod still first cast. Um, give it five, because it's still early days. It's five past three in high waters, run about 5.30. So we've got plenty of time. Um, it's starting to get a bit of tide pull, so fingers crossed it's looking good. Okay, first cast out. Got a squid ragworm on that first. Pulley Pennell, 4 0. Now, as soon as you get here, see what happens. Turn up, see if there's anything there, anything showing. Just rigging up my second one. Gonna go for a double squid on the dongle. Just whip him on. And we'll trim it to size once we're uh, lashed up. Well, local reports lately saying there's been a few rays coming off down this area. But to be honest, Spooligan's been so crazy the last uh, fortnight since launch. I'm just grateful to be out in the fresh air. And uh, yeah, a bit of a day off for me as such. I know we're filming, but uh, yeah, fishing, fresh air chat with the lads, bit of banter, lovely. Okay, let's give this a little trim up now. Scissors, where they should be. Now then. Dongle, let's get him out. Okay, double squid on the dongle, let's get it out. I think one thing that's very important whilst fishing any coastline is safety. 
and one of the uh, things that we all have to be mindful of whilst fishing, whether it be alone or in pairs or even a few of you, is the swells. And as you can see here at Nell's Point today, the swells at the moment are pretty big. However, me and Craig are very experienced along this coastline, fished with each other for years and fished in these swells for years. If you're new to the area or new to sea fishing, please, please do your research. Make sure you're going to fish safe because I can assure you there's no fish in that sea out there that's worth risking your life for. I mean, look at this. Look at this coming in here. Very, very dangerous. It's always handy to have a net with you to help aid landing any fish. the hell out of me. Now it's just a big bloody heavy weight. Uh, let's see what we got. John! John! Might have to land this somebody on John's pistol. There we go, we got a ray on the surface. Let's see if we can get him. Yes, live in action. Craig with his first fish of the session. A lovely blonde. Yeah. What was that caught on, Craig? On the dongle. I'm trying to kiss her. Double squid. Yeah. Lovely. I think it's a PB for me on blonde, so uh, we'll get him on up. Let's get him weighed and let's get him put back. Cheers. Well done, Craig. Yeah, Craig just tells me it's a possibility of a PB, so we're going to get him up on the scales. Have a look at him. There's a few people up the top spectating. We can't wait for him to get up there. So uh, he's walking up there like a movie star. There he goes. Cracking effort, mate. Cracking effort. Right, let's get up there. Let's see what it weighs. heavy so just over 13 pounds on the dongle the kisser i think we're blonde i think that's a pb for me i'll have to double check on my list but uh we'll happy with that we're first cast on the double squid let's get him put back What an evening, absolutely beautiful sunset. I don't know if you can see the ship to the right of that going up through the channel. And I'm guessing that's the pilot cutter going out there to go and meet him. Put the pilot on board. I'd say potentially going into uh, Avon Mouth, something like that. So, yeah. Is there a better feeling? Fresh air, sunset, catching fish. Life is good. So that's the, uh, the rig that we just had that uh, double figure blonde on, on the dongle, double squid, and the ding's still holding on. So the fish has tugged away at that. Uh, double, uh, that, beg your pardon, full circle, got him right in the corner of the mouth, but the bait's still intact, thanks to the ding. Lovely job. I think it's time to uh, have a catch up of the goings on in the Spooligan camp. As promised in the last video, Product 6 has now been signed off and is in full production. We've been up to see VMO, show them the concept and the idea and the final product and the finished product. And they're just as excited as we are. So 
that will shortly be on the VMO website, ready to purchase. So keep your eyes out on all the social media channels on both Spooligan and VMO for launch day. It's definitely a product that um, is plain, simple, but yet effective. So definitely a great addition to Spooligan. No fish for me as yet. Dark is now starting to settle in. I think it's time to put the lights on, get the head torch on, stay focused, stay positive, and keep going. There he is. Craig Noble Jones, the fish whisperer. Mating up his another rig for the next blonde. I'll be honest, no blonde is safe tonight. But on a serious note, guys, just want to show you something else that uh, is a must whilst using your rigs. So this is a recent rig I've just baited up. This is an anchovy and squid wrap. What you need to do when you're making these rigs and putting these baits on is make sure that the hook points are prominent so when the fish takes that the first thing he feels is the hook he pulls away hooks himself it's down to you to win the battle so yeah lovely bait ready to be rebaited on the first rod that led to nothing unfortunately but i don't need to catch when this man is about So as sessions like today, where these previously mentioned rigs come into their own. When I mentioned these on my last video, I never ever thought I'd need them. However, I did place an order with VMO and they arrived the next day. And guess what? I'm so lucky I did. Because last night, I was too busy to make some fresh rigs for this evening. As believe it or not, I was at a carol service with my daughter and I had no time to make rigs. So luckily, when these arrived, I put a few into my bag, and thank God I did, because today, these are the rigs I'm gonna arm myself with. The first one being a cod rig, the second one being the long pulley rig, and the third one being, obviously, the beefed up loop rig. What I do like about these rigs is that on the front of the packet, it tells you exactly what the rig is, and what the components are. So if you decide to buy a few and you decide to copy these rigs, you know exactly what to order, how much to order, and how to compile these rigs. Now I know that Dean Booker puts a lot of pride into his rigs and he's very obsessed with being perfect when he's making these rigs. It's an obsession he has, but you know what? The man does so well on the beach, so who else better to make the rigs for you than the man himself, Dean Booker? These rigs, are extensively available at the VMO website and there is a whole range of rigs. The rigs may not be for everybody but I'm sure if you take a look you'll definitely find the rig for you and you know what one day they may help you out like they've helped me today. Okay third bait nice uh, ragworm and car all tightly packed hopefully plenty of scent not expected to last uh, very long tide rip's gonna wash that out but Hopefully maximum impact for 10-15 minutes. Now let's get these uh, first and second casts in shortly and uh, whack this one out.
Neil. Do our best to try and land it in the sweaty conditions. So there we go, not the target species, but very, very welcome. A double figure eel weighing in at 14 and a half pounds. Caught, believe it or not, on the anchovy and squid wrap that was out there for a blonde ray. Not quite a PB, but a beautiful, beautiful, very, very strong fish. I did call it on the bite. As soon as I looked into it, I could tell straight away that it was an eel. But look, I can take some stills and get him back. So Craig has just informed me there's 40 minutes left to the tide, which will make it high water. So I'm gonna bring both rods in, rebate, and get them back out there. Probably leave them there for about 20 minutes, and then repeat the process to ensure I've got a fresh bait out there for high tide. And then it's fish the ebb. Whisperer into another fish after landing that big eel in the swells for me. Just put it back and he's into another one. Another little strap again on the dongle, ragworm and squid on that one. Ding still in place. Nice little slapline bite, but uh, certainly not the size that John's just had. So, uh, Get another bait out, see if I can get another one. Uh, a little white in, bit of a strange bite, slap line. Reeled into it, tap tap, didn't know what it was, so just reeled into fresh into the bait, but uh, nicely lip hooked. I think this little chap might be coming home as uh, bait for something else, so uh, nice one. Right then, guys, that brings us to the end of today's session here down at Nell's Point in Barry. Myself and Craig got a couple of nice fish, as you'll see in this video. Uh, my 14 and a half pound eel, Craig's 13 pound blonde, amongst a few dogfish, a few straps and obviously the pesky little whiting and now going home to the freezer for bait. We're gonna make our way back to the van. I'm gonna make my way back home and uh, we're gonna catch you on the next one. So all the best from me and all the best from him. Cheers guys.